Okay, let's keep going. My turn. Hopefully I get Boo this turn. Yes! I think I'll actually get a star as well. But I want to go ahead and steal coins because I don't want to worry about paying 50 coins for a star that I probably won't need. Uh, Boo works a bit differently in this game than he does in Mario Party 1. In this game, you can actually control how many coins get stolen from each player. Well, the person who's getting stolen stolen from can prevent it by rapidly pressing the A button. However, I don't think it really works that well when uh, you're pulling the coins from computer players. It just seems like you're always going to get more screwed than the computer players will at uh, getting coins stolen. It's just the way the game works. Okay, so Toad is up there now. And I think Yoshi is actually going for Toad, but that really won't make much of a difference. Because he could get sent back to start quite easily. Ooh, Peach is going to actually have a chance to get the star as well. And Yoshi is going to miss it, thank god. And he's going to lose even more coins. Mario. Four. And he's going to lose some coins. Well, I guess I have a few things I can talk about. Uh, two of my friends are actually starting new projects. Uh, K-Man Rules 1331 actually started his new project of Let's Play Wario Land Shake It. Very interesting game. I've never played it, actually. But if uh, I might start watching that because I was actually interested in that game for a while. Because it looks kind of unique. Most of the Wario, game, uh, Wario games are pretty unique, like WarioWare, so that might look pretty interesting. And then Mega Freak 400 actually introduced a teaser trailer for his new Let's Play, uh, Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, which kind of goes along with uh, My Link's Awakening Let's Play. So that's kind of cool that he's doing that. I don't know when he's going to start that, probably after he finishes Super Paper Mario, which he is actually getting pretty close to finishing, so yay for him. Uh, that last game was Archer Rival, the controls are pretty simple for that game. One player tries to shoot the targets, and the targets can move, so not a very hard minigame to figure out. Also, this is the first Mario Party game where the person who predicts who's going to win actually gets a 10 coin bonus from them, so first time they've done that in this game. And also, as usual, uh, the spaces for the game, like the blue and red spaces, they're now worth double. So if you hit a red space, you'll lose uh, six coins, but if you hit a blue space, you'll gain six. Let's see. Well, Peach is going to go for Toad now. Oh no, she's not. Wow. I really expected her to go after Toad, but she didn't. Okay, and I'm really going to need to win this game, because 30 coins is a lot of points. And we're doing facelift. What's unique about facelift in this game is you actually use characters from the Mario Party cast and not Bowser. Which makes this kind of unique and interesting, so... I think Yoshi is one of, one of the easier uh, ones to make, actually. Now his cheeks are going to get a little annoying to manipulate. Uh, I'd say... I'd say that's pretty good. I gotta bring his nose down though. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Shoot, I don't know if I should have done that. Uh, yes! A hundred! Wow, I don't think that should have been a hundred, to be honest. But, oh well, I'll take it. I'll take it to the bank. 58 coins. I have definitely 0 for 100 now. And I am definitely winning now as well. I think Peach will still get the next star, but I don't think it'll really do or anything. And Yoshi doesn't have any coins, so he can't steal. And Koopa Kid didn't do anything to hurt him either. Or Baby Bowser. 
I think it's Baby Bowser in the first three Mario Party games, but then it becomes Koop Kid. Uh, Bowser Jr. is actually a, uh, a gameplay character of the, some of the later games, like Super Mario Sunshine and New Super Mario Bros., those games. So I consider Bowser Jr. different from uh, the other uh, versions of a baby version of Bowser. Uh, this game is kind of like Lights... or uh, not Lights Out. Candlelight Flight. Or Candlelight Fight, one of the two. It's kind of like that game from Mario Party 4. Although I think this game's a lot more fun. And a lot... very easy as well. Uh, three people have light bulbs. The person... the one player has a hammer. All you gotta do is just run away from the person with the hammer. And if any person survives, you'll win. Mario kind of screwed me up there because he kind of blocked me into, into a little corner. Ah, uh, but this game's almost over. Last four turns. This will probably be the last full segment of this game. And looks like I'm going to go to the other island. Not really disappointed about that. It's fine. No one seems to be going after the star anyways. Uh, something else I'd like to mention. Um, for those of you who haven't seen my announcement video, or not really an announcement video, the video I posted on Tuesday after Link's Awakening, the one about my late night streaming, I think my next, uh, my second stream is going to be tomorrow on Sunday. So, um, definitely, if you can stay up late enough, uh, be sure to join me. Very quickly, this is Toad Bandstand, the sequel to Mario Bandstand from Mario Party 1. I think this game's a lot easier, though. And it's also a 2 versus 2 game, not a 1 versus 3. Wait, was I pressing the wrong button? Damn it! I, I screwed up because I, I was hitting the wrong button. Damn it, this is terrible. Well, we were going to lose anyways because Mario got hit three times in the first measure, so we were bound to lose this minigame because of Mario. Uh, so yeah, my second stream will probably be tomorrow night, and I'm actually going to start it a little bit earlier this time, so it's probably going to be like around 8 o'clock. Maybe 7 o'clock, I don't know. Just keep watching for my video, and I'll announce the actual time. So, yeah, just keep your eyes out for that. Uh, the first stream, I thought, went pretty well. It was very interesting to uh, play games for you guys. Uh, we had a great turnout. I think the highest point I had 80 viewers max at one point. So, that was pretty big. Bigger than Mario Madness, but when I did Mario Madness, I had like 700 less subscribers, so that's kind of understandable. Still trying to play, plan my second all-day stream, though. Still haven't really made any progress with that, though. We'll see what happens. Uh, one. Three. That's a terrible roll. They got a five with three dice blocks. Like, it's one thing to get, like, I don't know, maybe like a 15. But when you get under 10 with three dice blocks, and the highest number a normal dice block can go to is 10, that's just very embarrassing. And we're doing Skateboard Scamper again. I really hate this game. I really do. It's just... I don't know, I just hate the fact that you can't really go any faster than one certain speed. It's just very annoying. I want to try to collect a few more coins in this run than I did in the first run. Because I think that was probably my problem in the first run of this game. Yeah, I think Mario won that one. Mario's actually making a run for the minigame star, but I don't think he'll be successful in his attempt, though. And just so you know, I hit the happening space because I want to try to take that away from Peach. 
because I think she only has two happening spaces at this point. Don't take my word for that, but I think that's the case. Ten. Eight. Now that is a good dice roll. That is a good dice roll. It's not ten, ten, ten. But rarely in most Mario Party games will you see someone move 28 spaces at once. So that was actually a really good roll for Peach. That gave her the lead, but I don't know if she'll be able to hold on to that for the rest of the game. She might, though. It really depends. And unfortunately, Yoshi is going to go right for the next star. But, eh, I don't know. It'll be very close. I don't think Yoshi... There's a good chance Yoshi won't get it. Wait, where is Yoshi? I don't even know where Yoshi is right now. And of course, she's going to try to steal from me, of course. 